chapter 6.1 under radiative view factors and to, in this video i will explain about superposition rule where i've already covered the summation rule and um, uh, and reciprocity relation so the view factors relation before this i've already mentioned that uh, n surfaces to find how many view factors that you need to do uh, how many view factors for your problem is by uh, calculating the number of uh, surfaces and then square square that number of spaces uh, surfaces then you will get the number of uh, view factors that you have for your problems for example if you have two surfaces and then you want to find what how many view factors that you have in your problems so you just square that two you will get four that four is four, four uh, view factors f11 f12 and f21 and f22 so four view factors so before this i've already covered reciprocity relation and summation rules in this video i will focus more on superposition rule so this is a reciprocity relation to make uh try to rev upper uh take a look back reciprocity relation where we have a i f i to j equal to f a j f j to i so if both of the surfaces have the same areas therefore you can conclude it that f i j is equal to f j i whereas for different areas we have different geometries or maybe different dimension uh, from a i and a j therefore what you have to do you cannot equate f i j equal to fgi okay because area is not the same okay so now uh, this is summation rules where we have to sum up sum up all the uh, view factors that have the same uh, that refers to the same surfaces for example if your j equal to 1 to n and your surface have uh, your surfaces have 2 so j 1 to 2 so f 1 to 2 so f1 to 2 plus f1 to 1 okay the summation of this of both of these uh, view factors must be equal to 1 okay now uh, okay this is uh, before this we know that how many uh, view factors that we have so by using this equation we are actually under, uh, we actually calculating how many of view factors needs to be calculated based on your questions lah eh? So, which means that from six uh, view factors, maybe you can reduce up to three and you just only have to find those three view factors in order to answer for all those uh, six, uh, the, uh, the rest of the, uh, the rest of the view factors. Maybe you have to determine three view factors and then uh, the another three will be uh, evaluated by using uh, reciprocity relations, summation rules or, or uh, any other rules that will be that has uh, that will be teach to you okay we have four different rules right reciprocity summation rule and then this now in this video superposition rule and the last will be a uh, symmetry rule okay so let's take a look at the superposition rule the superposition rule uh, the definition is the view factors from a surface I to a surface J is equal to the sum of the view factors from surface I to the parts of surface J. Uh, to make it simpler, okay, simple to for you to understand is you just imagine one cake, okay, one cake, and you want to find what is the area of the cake, for example, eh? so let's say one cake and then this cake has been divided into sorry it is not symmetry uh, imagine that this cake is symmetry okay so we have one two three four and five and six so we have six cut of this cake lah. okay so what we want to know by using the superposition rule to find one area of the cake this big cake we have to sum up 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and plus 6 in order for you to get the whole cake one cake area okay 
The same as here, take a look at this figure. We have one F1 to 2 and 3. Okay, F1 to 2 and 3. So it means that they want to find this kind this V vectors. Okay, 1, 2 here. Okay, the radiation will emit to 2, 2 and 2 and 3. Therefore, what you have to do is you have to cut it into 2 and then you find 1 to 2 first. And then you have plus with 1 to 3. So therefore, if you plus these 2, you will get this. The same as this, if you want to find one cake, then you have to calculate the area of each of this cake and sum up all those areas, then you will get one cake. The same concept as this. Okay? So now let's take a look. That is what superposition rule is all about. Okay? Now we go to the uh, uh, example 23, fractions of radiation leaving through an opening. So that means the fraction of the radiation leaving the base of the cylindrical enclosure shown in the figure. So this is the figure that escaped through co coaxial ring opening at its top surface. The radius and the length of the enclosure are R1 equal to 10 centimeter. Okay. And uh, L is 10 centimeter. So L here is L length of this uh, cylinder is 10 centimeter. And then while the inner and outer radii, radii, radii of the ring are R2 is 5 centimeter. So R2 is 5 centimeter. And then R3 is 8 centimeter. So R3 is from here to here. So now we want to find what is the fractions of radiation for the ring. Because here ring this, this ring. So what we have to do, we know that this 3 is the total. I can, I, I just give illustration that 3 is the total area, eh? total area. And then uh, to get total area of 3, we have to find what is total area at 2 and plus with total area at ring. Okay, to get what is the amount of 3. Am I right? So, what we have to do, we want to find F, 1, 2, 3. Okay, 1, 2, 3 equal to, we have to find F, 1, 2, 2, plus F, 1, 2, I denote it as ring. So, F, 1, 2, 3, to find area 3, so this is area 3, for example. So this is area 3. So you have to calculate area 2. Okay, plus area ring. Okay. Then by sum up these two area, you will get this area. Okay. So this is how we do this superposition. F1 to 3 equal to F1 to 2 plus F1 to ring. Okay, now what we have to do, we need to refer to the figure. So this is all the figures that you will see for the radiation, okay, for the view factor. So let's take a look at the geometries. This is cylindrical enclosure. Do we need to do, uh, do we need refer to this uh, chart or graph? No, of course no, because this graph shows that rectangular geometries. Okay, next. How about this? No, we cannot see, we cannot refer to this chart because this chart, this chart also rectangular. What about this? Do this, this is cylindrical shape, but do these figures have the same configuration as this? No, we cannot use because this is in horizontal. It is in our problems, we are dealing with vertical cylindrical. So, therefore, we cannot use this figure. Cannot use. What about the last? Yes, this is the vertical. Okay, we will refer to this figure. So, to refer to this figure, we have to find what is L over R1 and R2 over L. Okay? 
So now we will calculate the first one. So now we have these two uh, surface 2 and surface 3. Am I right? Surface 2 and surface 3. The same configuration as this. Okay, so we want to find F123. So now first I'll, we will find what is F1 over 3. Even this is 1 to 2, but the configuration is the same. Then we just uh, remove this 2 number and then number 2 and then we take uh, put number 3. So here we will find F13. Okay, the configuration is the same. We can change 2 to 3 because 3 is here. The same configuration. Eh? So what we have to do is to find what is L over R1. So 10 centimeter. So you have to refer. Eh? This L refers to the height of the cylindrical. So we already have the, the height of the cylindrical which is 10 centimeter. Okay, the radii of the outer uh, the inner diameter, R, uh, sorry, the R1 is 10 centimeter. So 10 centimeter. So you will get this value 1. And then the another value that we have to calculate is R2 over L. So R2 is 5 centimeter. And you divide by 10 centimeter, you will get 0 0.5. So these two value, okay, one. So here, so this is the line for one. And then R2 over L. So you must refer to this figure. Eh? R2 is from here to this. Okay, that area. Okay, next is R2 over L is 0 0.5 here. So you tick here and then you uh, draw a straight line here. So what you will get is... F1 to 3 is equal to 0 0.11. So that is number 1, F1 to 3. Now we will find F1 to 2. Okay. What about F1 to ring? So we cannot find the value of 1 to ring since ring is the area here. Okay. So... Now F1 to re, uh, F1 to 2. So we want to find F1 to 2. So find L over R1 equal to 10 over 10. So we will get 1. And R2 over L is 8 over 10 centimeter. So you will get 0 0.8. 0 0.8 and then take a look at here this is the interception point of interception 0 0.8 and then you draw a straight line to get what is f1 over 2 so i get f1 over 2 f1 to 2 is 0 0.28 oops sorry this is 0 0.28 sorry eh? 0 0.28 and then this one is 0 0.11. Sorry. 1, 2, 3. Sorry, this is this is 1 to 3. Sorry. This is 1 to 3 and this is 1 to 2. I'm really sorry because I I made a mistake. So we already get the value for F1 to 2 and F1 to 3. So please refer to this uh, equation. We know that F1 to 3 equal to F1 to 2 plus F1 to ring. Our main objective is to find F1 to ring. Therefore rearrange this equation F1 to ring equal to F1 to 3 minus F. 1 to 2. So what you get here is 0 0.28 minus 0 0.11. You will get 0 0.17. 174 radiation. 
living uh, escape through coaxial ring. So F1 to ring is 0 0.17. So that is your view factors for the ring. Okay. That's all. Thank you.